welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title today I'm going to try resin for the first time but if you know what resin is you probably see how satisfying it is you can basically put anything into it if you don't know what resin is it's basically two liquids I'm not really exactly sure what they are but um, <laughs> it's two liquid you got A and B and then you have to mix them together and then they dry in about 24 hours there is a lot of molds you can buy online for it so I have a box full of stuff now you need a lot of little things for it but basically you just mix this two together and then you can add anything glitter colors um, all this stuff to it so I thought I want to try because I seen it on TikTok it's like quite viral on TikTok everybody's doing like resin pouring and I just thought it's just such a good idea for it to try and also because Christmas is here very close um, I might try to do some like Christmas decoration with it as well in the future. So if this is something that interests you, then make sure you can watch it. Okay, so as you can see, I ordered a lot of things. So first, I'm showing you the pigment you can add to your resin. Then I have a lot of molds. So these ones are the alphabet, which you can make keychains with. And then I have some trays, cups and coasters. I also ordered some little flowers, dried flowers you can put into your resin, butterflies and some seashells. And the last thing is some gold flakes. You also need a little cup, wooden sticks to stir it with, gloves and with resin you need um, A and B, solution A and solution B. Make sure you wear some gloves when you do resin because resin is very, very sticky. You're going to add half and half of both of your solution and make sure you stir it up really well between three to five minutes. Okay, so the first one I decided to make a letter R, a letter M and a letter I. So this is my sister's, my mother's and my name. Um, I don't really like to have I as my <laughs> as my name because it just literally looks like a stick. So I use fire to get rid of the little bubbles in the resin, but you need to make sure you're really, really careful with the fire. So my sister really likes pink and purple, so I decided to add pink and purple flowers into her name. Okay, and here we are moving to letter M, which is going to be blue and green, as you can see. So I try to make them a little bit different colors. Um, this is a bit more fun for me to make them as well. And then myself decided to choose yellow because I just love yellow. It's just a very happy color. So then I put some gold flakes into the clear resin which I kind of made a little bit of a mistake with this because with resin you basically need to make sure that the first layer dries which takes 24 hours and then you can add other layers on top which I didn't do um, so then I decided to add this to my letters but to be honest it didn't really make a massive mistake with this because it just still just mixed up with the flowers but next time I'm going to do it differently so then I decided to add some colors so I chose blue and pink so I mix them up really well as well and then here we are moving to the coasters so this was another project which I was really excited about so as you can see I started with a pipette but then I decided that would literally take me two million years to finish <laughs> so then I added with the little stick um, I went for the edges um, I done blue and pink so my blue wasn't enough for one of them so, and then I decided to just add a little bit of a pink and then I moved on to this really pretty blue colored glitter and then the fourth I just decided to do a glittery edge so I went around all the way it's like I could already tell that it's going to be really nice um, I also decided to add the leftovers to just random things so I just found this little stick which I think you can make necklaces and stuff like that with all keychains if you want just to feel 
and then I added some clear resin then I decided to add shells, seashells into this one so it really really makes me feel like I want to go on a holiday <laughs> Okay, then I move on to our next one, which I wanted to make one for my sister because she really, really likes butterflies. So I bought these stickers for her. I placed the butterfly in the middle and then I added some different colors. I wanted to make it a little bit like a marble kind of background. But again, with this, I kind of made a mistake that I should have first just let the clear resin dry with the butterfly and then add the the rest to the next layer so then I moved on to my next one which I decided to add some flowers to I also added some gold flakes and some glitter to it just to make it a little bit more shiny and girly so as you can see here that's like a little purple glitter sprinkled it all over and I decided to add some pink okay with the next one again I went for the clear for the front getting rid of the bubbles And then I went with the marble again. So I added a little bit of white and black for that one. And then went for a classic, <laughs> used to do this um, when I used to do nails with the nail polish. Okay, and I decided to add some white glitter on top. Okay, moving on to day two. So I put on my gloves and as you can see the first layer dried and then I just added some clear resin on top because some of the flowers came a bit higher up or some parts were sticking out. And I did the same with the letters. So just poured a bit of clear on top, sealed the glitters. And then here we are with the seashell. So this one started to be a little bit weird as you can see. I wasn't sure if it dried properly. Like all the others were really well done and they were fine. But this last one was a bit weird. So then here we are with the demolding. So I started with the most complicated part where you can actually... <laughs> it was really, really a struggle to try to take these out. As you can see, I sped up the footage, but it still takes quite a while for me to get them out. Um, I decided to put a seashell on this uh, left one, but it just didn't really show well. So my letter, as I said, it just looks like a block. I didn't like it at all. So definitely not going to keep that. And then my M turned out pretty, pretty nice, I think. And then the R is my favorite. Okay, then we moved on to the coasters. So this is the one where I decided to do marbles. Um, the pigment just turned out a little bit weird. It's not bad, but I kind of wanted them to kind of stick together a little bit more. Um, and here we are at the butterfly. So as I said, I made a bit of a mistake with the first layer. So I should have just let it dry because as you can see, a bit of marble went in front of the butterfly. It still looks pretty, but I think it could have turned out a little bit better if I waited. Okay, and here we are with the failure. So I don't know what happened to this one. I think I maybe just didn't stir the two parts of resin together well. So I think it just couldn't really do its job, sort of, and it just didn't dry. So it was very, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on my fingers and things. So I didn't take it out. I just left it like that, <laughs> chucked it in a bin. Um, and then this was my favorite of the coasters. So I think it's really, really pretty. I'm definitely going to use this. And here we are, everything all together.
Lights off your seat, clap your hands to the beat, grab your champagne glass tonight. We toast to freedom in the Caribbean, yeah, in the Caribbean, yeah. Dan, 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 smoke, 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 fire it up, let our lanterns paint the night sky red, paint the night sky red, yeah, yeah. We'll drink any by the ocean, it's our favorite potion, come on baby, let me tell you what. I hope you liked today's video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet and i hope to see you next week with another video bye